So the main takeaways that I want you to get from this is again, watching the bottom side of this cut. I'm gauging my travel speed based off what I'm looking down for and making sure it's going straight down. I'm trying to hold my torch straight because I want a square cut. I think that overall that's a pretty good cut. Not too bad at least. I mean, there's not a lot of dross if any. I tried to keep it as square as I could. I was looking straight down that nozzle at the leading edge of my cut. As you get to some thicker plate, maybe you don't have the amperage for it. You can compensate for that with a little bit of 10 or 15 degrees of a push angle. We never really want to drag because I don't want to see that arc want to wander out of my cut or jump out. Got a little evidence of going a little bit too fast. And we'll see that once we get this piece of metal off. Ugh. That's definitely where that cut jumped out. And you can see how gnarly that is. You can also see a little bit of evidence of travel speed issues in the actual cut itself. Even though we made it all the way across, we still might have a little bit more dross on it. Or you might see that these lines on the edge of your plate where you cut are a little bit of an angle. And that's telling you that if you need to slow down and make sure that they're straight lines. 